I'm Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Everyone talks about the microbiome and gut bacteria, but why is it so important? What are the functions of the bacteria? Well, we're gonna go through that today. Before we get into 10 functions of your gut bacteria, let's talk a little bit about the anatomy. So when we're thinking of the intestine, we wanna break those two things up into the small intestine and into the large intestine. So in the small intestine, that should actually be a relatively sterile environment. That's 18 to 25 feet of our gut. The large intestine, however, is actually where we house the bacteria, especially the beneficial bacteria. When we get something like a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, it is in essence where the bacteria has now been relocated and overpopulated into the small intestine where it is not supposed to be. We have trillions of bacteria in our gut and we have a thousand different species. There are also 5,000 different bacterial strains. With that said, everyone is unique. However, there are combinations of collections of bacteria that is present in healthy individuals. So let's get into the 10 functions of the gut bacteria and why it is so important that you have an optimal balance and that the bacteria is where it's supposed to be. Number one is nervous system modification. So this is a really powerful function of our gut bacteria. We wanna think of three key neurotransmitters, which are essentially our chemical messengers that are formed from the gut bacteria. Number one is serotonin. So think of that as our, our hormone of happiness. 90% of our serotonin is located in our gut. 50% of our dopamine, so our feel-good hormone, is located in our gut. And then lastly is GABA, which is an, an inhibitory uh, neurotransmitter that decreases feelings of fear and anxiety and produces a feeling of calm. All of this is associated with this amazing gut-brain connection. Number two is it breaks down food compounds. So essentially it's going to metabolize the food and medications that we consume. Number three is pathogen resistance. So think of this uh, bacteria as really one of our protective mechanisms. So it's going to protect us from pathogens and toxins. Number four is protection against any epithelial injury. So essentially this is protecting us against infections just like it did with, with our toxins and pathogens. Number five is bone density modulation. So essentially this gut bacteria can influence our bone density, which is really powerful. Number six is the promotion of fat storage. So essentially the gut bacteria can influence the hormones that, per that store fat. Additionally, the standard American diet, i.e. the Western diet, is essentially influencing the gut bacteria, which has been linked to obesity. Number seven is immune system stimulation. 70% of our immune system lies within our gut. So when we have optimal gut bacteria, this gut bacteria is influencing how our immune system responds to foreign invaders and toxins and pathogens that they might be exposed to. Number eight is the promotion of angiogenesis. So essentially, when we are able to have more blood vessels in the gut, this can be very, very powerful for future advances in treatments for gut infections. Number nine is biosynthesis of vitamins and amino acids. So we can have production of these, which can be really, really powerful in our overall health. Number 10 is metabolism of therapeutics. So this is ultimately how we are going to process our medications and supplements. So keep that in mind. If you are planning to take things, you have to make sure that your gut is optimized so that you can actually metabolize these appropriately. Now that you know the functions of the gut bacteria, you know how important it is to optimize it. You can do that through numerous things and you can see some other videos for different suggestions to optimize your gut health. But we do wanna think about everything from prebiotics, the fiber that the probiotics feed on, probiotics, whether that's for, through fermented food or that is through supplementation. And then of course, stress management, making sure that you're eating a high fiber diet, 25 to 35 grams a day, drinking plenty of water, eating a whole natural food diet, Diet to really ensure that you are optimizing the diversity of your gut. That is one of the key things that your gut loves is diversity. So these are just a few things. Really, I wanted to focus on the functions of the gut bacteria and stay tuned for more information. Thank you as always for joining. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for more weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement. Don't forget to share this with friends and family and make sure you give it a like or a comment. Thank you.